Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is episode 51. And uh, in between now and our last episode, I've picked up one more of the Hauling Hope deliveries. And today I'm going to try to do a couple of these, I think. It's been a super busy time at work, so I'm looking forward to just kind of some relaxing de-stressing by getting in the truck and driving here. I'm going to try to do two short runs. This one will take us across the ferry to Latvia. Let's begin this delivery, and it should be right where we are. So if all goes well, we'll have four deliveries done by the end of the day today. So far, two for two. Haven't hit anything either. Either So uh, fingers crossed we can keep going here. Whoa, where's the truck going by itself here? That must be our hauling hope over here. Whoops, my, whoa. Wheels all messed up here too. Let's go forward, how about? There, now we're in the way. Flashing over here? Where is this thing? There we are. That's what we want. So let's back right up to this. This will be our third one. This should be pretty short once we get on the ferry. We're pretty much there. So I'm thinking, ah. Uh. All right, we are hooked up. How's that look? Pretty good. Nice. And we are ready to go. Let's get this on the road here. It's kind of an odd place to have vaccine between a pile of lumber and big car trailer thing but anyway we won't complain so we will uh, get on the highway here and touch base as we're heading down to the uh, the ferry so see you in a bit so we are on the highway in game time it is seven o'clock seven thirty or so on a sunday morning looks like we've got a beautiful day here in scandinavia for tooling around we should be able to have the pretty much the whole drive in sunlight i think although we might lose it as we head across to the ferry there uh, in real world, it's about 10.30 at night, and I'm trying to put in about a 16-hour workday. I've got a busy work project, so it's nice just to take a little time here and decompress. That's one of the things I think that's really surprised me about the game is that when I watched someone else play it and I watched other people play it, I thought, my God, that's the most boring game ever. I would never like that. But there's something still, I keep mentioning it, I'm sure, but there's something oddly relaxing about it, and especially, I think, in times like this where it's, you know, in lockdown and... All these kinds of goofy things going on in the world and it's pretty stressful it's it's been really relaxing to kind of play this game and just enjoy some chill drives and you don't have to think too much but you have to think a little bit and you're making progress and sense of exploration so i've been really happy kind of stumbled onto this one and the thanks uh, thanks to parkera if you're out there watching uh, he was uh, it was his series with this game that got me started in it Although I was totally convinced that I would not, was not going to like it here. I think this is where I hit the railing a lot on these. But oh, we made this one. Good. But anyway, we'll, um, we'll keep moving along here and not sure how many talking points we've got. But whoops, we've got a little bit of traffic jam. We'll uh, touch base as we're getting closer to the ferry. We've got about an 11 hour trip. But again, I think about eight hours of that or so is the ferry. So I don't think there's too much actual driving here. This looks pretty good. Destroy the sign. We have, oops, we have reached the town of Nunasham, which is the harbor that's going to take us across to Latvia. It's kind of a windy road. And I know I drove this with the snow. It's totally different when there's no snow and it's all green and stuff. So it's like a completely different area. So we're just going to wind our way around here, hop on the ferry, and then I think we're pretty much at our destination. So we'll have one done. Then we're going to do a, uh, I think we'll do one more after that if we can find a nice short one somewhere in Latvia. I feel like I've been, dri I've been driving in Scandinavia for a while doing those Christmas deliveries and now these uh, vaccine deliveries. And the routes seem to kind of keep going to the same places. So I really haven't explored too much by doing these. I think we got kind of maybe a dozen cities in Scandinavia really fast. And then that was about it. A lot of traffic here. Uh, so we haven't, I feel like I've been kind of going over the same roads. This is one of those places in the game. I'm not, if you've played the game before, you, you see these endless streams of traffic. This is just going to go on forever. So I'm going to stop recording till these cars eventually go by. See you in a few hours. Ah, there we go. Finally. I don't know where everybody's going in the small town. It's like everybody's up. Maybe it's a funeral or something. 
Okay, back in action now, making progress. Don't want to go that way. I feel like these places where you've got like the parking lots and everything, it's like the perfect place to just ding your truck up and. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. We need to go over there on the right, right? Hopefully, nothing behind us here. I feel like this is not working out right. Oh, okay, I got an idea. Could possibly go wrong. I'm gonna do a U-turn here and come back around and go out. This'll work just fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Oops, sorry about that sign. Signs are expendable, I think, right? Yeah, look at that left mirror. Oh, we didn't even knock it all the way over. We just knocked it a little bit of the way over. <laughs> Never seems to make anybody angry. The game is pretty laid back. Okay, I think that's the right thing. Whoa. I feel like I'm going to hit something on this one. It's not... It's kind of cool with the water. The water looks spectacular in Scandinavia. I don't know if it always looks the same or they upgraded the water here, but it's got such a rich blue... Looks very cool. Here's our boat. Yay! Hopefully we can make it on without smashing into something. Achten Sie auf die Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. Okay, let's slide right into the parking spot and enter. We are going here. Vent spills. Let's do it. Embark. Neue Route finden. If we do complete this one, it'd be three for three, which is far better than I thought we would be doing. But, I, I mean, they are short, short deliveries. So, it's a little bit of cheesing it here. So, there's the flag. I can see it on our little newbie down here. We just got to drive out around a couple turns and we're there. We'll see you as we're getting closer to parking then. This looks like a port industrial town. All the cranes around and everything over there pretty cool and of course it's got its two rotaries to challenge us right at the end now I notice a lot when I've watched a few people drive and when they have a way where they can gradually look left and look right and I just have it so I can only do kind of a quick turn left and I'm curious if anybody knows how to get it so that it's not snap to the right it's more of a whoa car hit us behind this where it's more of a gradual turn so when I look to the left I can pan left rather than just snap left and I was looking for it I haven't looked for it for a while I remember I was looking for it a long time ago and I couldn't find out how to do it I could find a couple ways to do it where you had to reprogram something but it didn't work so I wonder if anybody remember or knows how to do that I would be grateful I would love to have it be a smoother look to the left and right I wonder what the parking's going to be like. I have noticed that the parking in Scandinavia is kind of a level up parking challenge here. 90, okay. Oh, wow, that's hard. We have to do a complete U-turn and put it right there. Okay, we got this. We got this. No problem. If I just bang a Yui right here, nice sharp turn. Don't hit the building. There's nothing there, right? I can. I get this. So just go here. Cut it really close. Now cut it sharp. I should have enough room to point the truck back this way and just back right in. That's the plan, anyway. Okay. I don't know if I can get the trailer around well enough. This might be a little bit ambitious. Maybe if I overshoot it. How's that look? Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Now if I can get the thing straight and go back in. So how do I want to do this? I want to go... I want to back up. That's right. I just want it to go straight. So this way. Right? Ah, come on, come on, come on. Get around, get around, get around. Ah, damn it. It missed it. Maybe not. Maybe I can come back at it. I got a little room to make a turn. I don't think I'm going to make that corner, am I? Cut it hard. 
pew, and drop the bay and <laughs> boom! That wasn't too bad. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting a little better. And then the next one, be a total disaster. Alrighty, getting close to level 26, 11,000 euros. Our drivers have been picking up stuff. How much might we have? 105,000 euros now. Almost back to. We're still 80,000 euros short of what we started from with two episodes ago. Let's take a look and see what other options we have for doing another one. We are here. I know that. Cool to go to Riga. You got anything there? Where are we in GMT? Oh, I don't want to do that. That's a little far. That's a little far. Let's get a nice short one here. Come on, something shorter. Oh. Oh, we haven't been there, though. That'd be okay to get back to Sweden. Riga. How far is that? Let's do that. Because I don't want to go on the ferry again. We'll be in our delivery. And I think we have to go back to the ferry yard, maybe, to pick it up. We'll see you as we get the, the trailer hooked up. Okie dokie. Second load. On we go. So far, I'm doing pretty well with these. Three for three. I just jinxed it. But how do we get out of here? Right here. Okay. Looks like we've got a three hour and 45 minute journey. This would give us number four. Biege nach rechts ab. And this would be the same route we just drove to drop this off. But exploring a little bit of Latvia today. So we'll, uh, we'll be back as we get closer to the highway. So this is pretty cool. Bridge is going up. Who knew? There's a little boat over there. Let's take a look at it from outside the truck here. Well, that's kind of cool. Wasn't expecting that. It's a nice little touch. A little bit of flair on the game here. So now we're motoring along, making good time. This looks like this might not be a, an easy drive. Like a two-lane highway, four-lane highway, two lanes each way would be a lot safer than a lot of these single highways. It kind of reminds me a little bit of driving down in places like Turkey and Romania where things are just a little bit rougher. Whereas as you go far, a little bit closer to France and Germany, it's a little bit more structured roadways and, and, and speed limits. So we'll see how this goes. This looks fairly straight and easy here now. About eight o'clock at night, so it looks like we should get sunset pretty soon, huh? Little church on the side here. Looks like nothing really between us and Riga except this kind of stuff, so. Church there, that's cool, whoa. So I have been, one of the things right now is I'm pretty hungry. I'm trying to lose weight. And if you've been following the football manager series that I do, one of the things is I've got a thing where I can only move between cities in the game when I've walked the distance in real life. So I'm trying to do a lot more walking and exercise, but I'm not losing any weight. I'm just eating it back on. So now I'm trying to go after eight o'clock at night without eating. So when I get hungry, I'm trying to drink tea. So it's my third cup of tea. Makes it a lot of runs to the bathroom too, but. So far so good. This is the first night though, I'm really hungry. Can't imagine that's good for your driving concentration either. Immer geradeaus. But so far, it's a straight shot. It's pretty easy. It took us a while to get out of the city. Sometimes that can be a little bit, I don't want to say frustrating, but sometimes the city areas are big enough and they, they take so much time to get through in real time because the time scale is different. So if you get stuck driving through kind of a longer city area, which I feel like this driving is more enjoyable in the game. You know, when you're out in the countryside and you can look around and it's nature and stuff. City driving is a little bit more kind of actual work you know you get things you're gonna watch out for bump into it takes a little bit more concentration and it's it's not necessarily as rewarding as driving like this and this place you're out here it feels like you're making progress you're going places you're getting things done um, so sometimes when you get into one of those city sprawling areas it's a little bit of a slog and that was one back there it probably took maybe especially that you know the, the boat came through which is well that was kind of cool but it probably took maybe 10 minutes of real time and it only chopped off maybe an equivalent amount on the total time for the delivery. Whereas now we can probably do these three hours in 10 minutes. So the time scales are so different that sometimes it's a little bit, um, it's a little, it, it just, you have to adjust your expectations here as you're making deliveries. 
So if we have 104,000 euros now, our next truck is a goal for our base in Turkey. We need about 170,000, I think, to do that. This isn't going to get that much. I think this was, I want to say 10,000, 12,000 or something. So we got a ways to go. Maybe a couple more episodes. Maybe the next episode if things go well. Well, we'll keep on moving along here. This is one of the straightest highways I think I've ever been on. I don't, I think I could probably let go of the wheel. Oh, this is safe. What could go wrong, right? Whoa. Okay, maybe I can't let go of the wheel, but I feel like I could. It's so straight. There's a little turn. Oops, I gotta go right. <laughs> wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> so, we're in the middle of nowhere, and there's a little question mark off to the left there. So it's either a dealer, or it must be a dealer. It's got a repair shop. So we, we gotta go check it out, because there is an achievement for getting all the dealers. To, for visiting all the dealers in the game. So, yeah, look at this, in the middle of nowhere. What kind of dealer is this? Man. Man truck dealer discovered. Okay, let's make a U-turn and get back on the highway. Ooh, I can get repaired while I'm here. I think I might have some slight damage. Okay, so we are in Riga. The little Toto sign there. What the heck is the Toto sign? And we are going to go by. It looks like a recruiting agency here. We're about two minutes away from our delivery here. Is that it? Nice. Recruiting agency. Next driver. There'll be one more option, I think, to pick from. This was a fun drive. Again, pretty straight. Uh, and this, I, I love loving the fact that it's 11 o'clock at night and the sun is only setting. Obviously, these are the summer Scandinavian hours up here. Not much night at all. That winter mod was getting me down a little bit. Whoops. Let me take out that sign. Nope. So if we can park this without dinging the truck up, this would be four deliveries over halfway. Let's see how we can do here. Sie sind am Ziel angekommen und ihre Routenführung ist damit abgeschlossen. Let's see, we got 40. Ah, uh, it's a hard 40. Huh, maybe not. Let's go in here and around, but we'll get this lined up and taken care of, and then we'll wrap this one up. That might have been my fastest parking. <laughs> I, got, I accidentally just got it perfectly lined up. That was cool. Okay, we get to level 26? I don't think so. Not even close. Oh, maybe another two deliveries. Two short deliveries. What do you make? 11,000 euros. Not much. That gives us 114,000. Hmm. I tried to buy, when we were at that station, at the repair station, I tried to buy the little ornament for the mirror from the event but apparently it's not there so I, I haven't done something right i thought i claimed it correctly but not i did get these little volvo things for the side of the truck there those look pretty snazzy really want to start adding some pizzazz to the truck i look at some of the other screenshots that people are taking their trucks mine looks like newbie truck so we got to take care of that at some point here too anyway uh that'll bring us to the end here we are four out of seven deliveries done for hauling hope so making good progress here and I think uh, next episode will probably be on Friday if I can get it in. Work is a little bit busy, so it might be a week or so. But thank you so much for tuning in. And if you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing and uh, safe driving. And we'll see you in our next episode. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.